Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect SQL Server Management Studio, SQL Profiler, Excel, and maybe even the Power BI Desktop to your Power BI Desktop data model. Stay tuned. Okay, why, Patrick, why do I wanna connect these tools to a data model in the desktop? Okay, calm down, calm down, right? To be honest, one of the reasons is because I like doing different that people don't talk about too much. Um, there's some blog posts and things out there, but I wanna kinda go into it a little bit. And then there was a comment that someone made on the video where I showed how to clear the cache using DAX Studio, and they're like, Patrick, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We cannot install DAX Studio. Our, our IT department do not, they do not allow us to install DAX Studio. Is there other ways to do it? Of course there is, and I'm gonna show you in this video. Um, then there was another comment, really cool comment, uh, that somebody said, hey, and we already talked about this, Adam and I, we talked about this. Why don't you just add, probably our desktop team, listen, listen, why don't you add a clear the cache button in Power BI Desktop? Whew, that would be great, right? Then I couldn't do this video. But anyway, anyway, anyway. So Adam and I didn't want to leave anyone out. We wanted to make sure everybody could clear the cache and connect to their desktop data file. So we decided to do this video. Okay, so enough of all this talking. You guys know all I like to do. Let's head over to my laptop. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have at least one Power BI desktop file open. So you can see my Power BI desktop file is open. Then open PowerShell. And so, because what you need to do is get what's called the diagnostic port for that desktop file, all right? And so, there's a blog post, there's several blog posts out there that walks you through step-by-step -step on how to do this. Um, you can use DAX Studio, obviously, you can use command line. Um, there's other a couple other ways you can do it. So I just added my own, a little PowerShell script, and you can get the script in the description below. So download it and get it. Once you have it, open the PowerShell, open PowerShell up, open the script up, and then what you'll see is I'm just using get processes to make sure that to see if to check if the analysis services window server is running. If it is, then I go through the process IDs and get the port, the diagnostic port, and then I just write something out for you. So go ahead and run the script and you'll see, right, this is what you need to copy, local host, colon, port, whatever the port number is, okay? And so if you have analysis services running, if you have multiple desktop files running, you may see multiple things in this list and you'll just have to figure out which one. So I do like DAX Studio a bit because it gives you a list of those and my PowerShell skills just aren't full enough to do it. If somebody wants to improve this PowerShell script, send it back to me, do it, do it, right? I'll do an update video maybe. All right, so once you, once you run this script, just copy this local host. You only want that part, right? Local host colon, whatever the port is, copy it. And then you go over to Management Studio or any tool that can connect to analysis services and run an XMLA query, right? Doesn't have to be Management Studio, any tool that you can connect to analysis services and run an XMLA query. So I'm gonna connect, choose analysis services, pop in that in the server name, right? Make sure analysis services is selected in the server type paste that in there, choose window, paste the uh, local host port in the server name. The authentication type should be Windows authentication and click connect. Once you click connect, you'll see the icon's a little different here because this is in, uh, this is the VertiPak um, engine that you'll see. And so if you expand out databases, you'll see, hey, there's my database. And if you wanna clear the cache, you need to just run an XMLA script. Also, in the description below, I've provided you that script. And so if you just get that script, so I've saved that script off, come on, ah, let's not go here. And so let op get that script and open a new XMLA query. And so here's, here's the actual script. But if you want it, if you just have a copy of it on your clipboard, if you go on the ribbon, you'll see XMLA. So for example, if I had the script here on my clipboard, I can right click on that database, new query and choose XMLA. For you guys that are not familiar with Management Studio, okay? For everyone that's not familiar with Management Studio, paste it in and then you'll see, but don't run it yet, don't run it. You'll see where it says enter your database name. So if you wanna clear the cache, right? Using Management Studio and not DAX Studio, you need the database. The database is just long GUID. Just click it and you'll see it goes into like, you can rename it, don't rename it, don't mess with it. Right click it and copy it. I'm not it. sure I understand. <laughs> look, look. 
<laughs> oh my God, this is hilarious. I'm not talking to you, right? Okay, so anyway, back up, back up. Right click and copy the name and paste it between the database ID right there. Make sure there's no spaces there and run it. <laughs> now my phone's listening. Holy smoke, everybody's listening. I'm not stopping, let's keep going. Okay, so then we'll execute this and we'll clear the cache, right? You won't get much of a results, but there we go, the cache is clear. And then we'll go back over to Power BI Desktop. I'm gonna clear this and I'm gonna go back to the performance analyzer and I wanna show you, I wanna show you now that the cache is clear, let's refresh this table just to prove to you that the, that the cache is actually clear. Now, look at there, it took about 26 seconds to run the DAX query. Let's run it again. Let's refresh just that visual again. And now you'll see that it's so much faster, right? Because the first time I ran it, the cache was clear. It didn't hit the cache. The second time it did absolutely hit the cache. What? This is great. I know, I know, Siri's getting in the way, but that's all right, all right? And so if you wanna do this using Management Studio, you absolutely can, you just gotta get the diagnostic port. But why stop there? Why stop there? But wait, there's more, right? So since I'm already in Management Studio, if, you've, if you're familiar with analysis services, you can do this, right? So there's my database. If I right click on it and choose browse, guess what? I can browse this database. I and I know what you think, and Patrick, I can do all this in the Power BI desktop. Yes, you absolutely can. But if you wanted to, right? Humor me, humor me. If you wanted to, right, I can drag my sales amount and then I can get my calendar and choose year, and I can continue to expand this. You see at the top where it says MDX? I should have did this first, switch this over to DAX. It's gonna make, completely make me do that again. It's okay, it's okay, All right, it's okay. So go to internet sales, choose sales amount, and then choose my calendar year, All right? And now if I execute this, watch, there's the result, but if I, this little icon right here, the design mode icon, I'm gonna click it, it's gonna switch it in the query mode, there's my DAX, right? So if you wanna get a sense of what the DAX is gonna look like, you know, or do some testing on it, or performance tuning beforehand, you can absolutely do this, because what I can do is I can copy this, and then I can right click again, new query DAX, paste it here, and then I can start writing DAX, testing out my DAX. So with Management Studio, I can connect to this and do some testing, some performance tuning, you know, and things like that. Obviously, DAX Studio has some other capabilities, some additional capabilities that's not available in Management Studio, but it still is an option, okay? So let's continue, let's continue, All right? You can also, if you wanna monitor things like DAX Studio allows you to do, you can open up the SQL Profiler, take that exact same server name port, it's already there in mind because I've tested this out. Make sure it's analysis services. Make sure it's Windows authentication. Click connect. You can choose the default trace. If you're familiar with SQL profile, you can set up all these different types of trace with different events and columns and things. I click run. And then if I go, you can see, right, there's lots of existing connections that I've made to this model. I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. And then what I'm going to do is go back to that report. And then I'm just going to refresh my visuals. So I'll refresh all the visuals on that page. And what you'll see back in the profiler is all those queries are being run. What? So now I got all the queries and I can really look at some DAX and test it out, kick the tires and do some different th types of things with it. All right, but wait, but wait, there's more. What about Excel, right? And so I wanna see what my, my end user experiences are gonna be once I publish this data set to Power BI service and allow them to connect to different visualization tools, right? Excel being one. So check this out. I'm gonna open up a blank workbook. All you need to do is go to data and choose get data, analysis services. Remember at the beginning I said, anything that can connect to analysis services can connect to this uh, desktop data model. So I choose from analysis services, paste the server name in. Obviously I don't want that. <laughs> Let me go back to PowerShell and grab my Server name off the clipboard, get it on the clipboard, not off the clipboard. Go back to Excel, paste that in, and click Next. Make sure Windows Authentication is selected. Click Next, and there's my model. There's the same database. Click Next, and click Finish. And then the Import Data dialog box will appear. Choose whatever you want. I'm gonna choose a pivot table report and now I can start creating a pivot table. This is what my end user experience would be if I published this data set to Power BI and they went to analyze in Excel or something like that, all right? One more thing, 
But wait, there's one more thing, right? The last thing is, remember I did a video about data silos a while ago. I hate data silos. And so one of the things you should do is use Power BI Desktop to create your data model, publish your data model, and then you can allow your end users to connect to that data model. So can Power BI Desktop connect to Power BI Desktop? Yes, it can. Watch this. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna open up Power BI Desktop. All right, so once Power BI Desktop opens, if you still have the splash screen enabled, click Get Data, and you can choose either one of the Analysis Services connection. I tested it, the anal Azure Analysis Services one or the local on-prem one. So I'm gonna choose Database, I'm gonna choose SQL Server Analysis Services Database, click Connect, paste that same server name in, I'm gonna connect live, click OK, right? And then choose my model, just like Analysis Services, and then you'll see my field list appear. You'll see my live connection there. If I go to the other desktop model, change something in the schema, add a column, add a measure, all I need to do is click refresh and that new item, whatever it is, will appear in my data model because I'm live connected to that data source. What? This is bananas. I know some of you guys are like, oh, Patrick, Patrick, you're going off the deep end. But I guarantee you there's someone out there that needs this. Okay, are you guys know about this? Are you using this today? I hope so. Maybe not, maybe yes. I'd love to know. Let's have a conversation where? In the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you like my video, give me two big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Slow down.